Hi Leo, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. You can check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus as well. All right, let's see. We're going to start with whatever comes out. Important messages for Leo. Let's see. Thank you guys for liking the video. Thank you so much. And for interacting with the video. Okay, important messages for Leo. What do you want Leo to know, universe? What do you want Leo to know? The Ten of Cups. The successful outcomes, any problems you may be facing at this time. That's important for some of you to know. Some of you guys, this could be a family issue. Or some sort of living situation getting worked out. Uh, I'm getting like, you know, divine timing, of course. But something here is coming together. Three of Swords. Yeah, again, something that has got you worried. You could be worried about a connection here for some of you. Some of you guys may have recently, you're all in different situations, so take it how it resonates. Some of you guys may have suffered some sort of breakup or separation, heartache here. But the Ten of Cups coming out on top, it feels like the situation is going to get resolved. There's some sort of coming back together or an issue getting resolved here. Yeah, look. Temperance, Six of Cups, Page of Swords, Nine of Wands. I do see, um, you know, another message here. Somebody here is afraid to talk to you. They're afraid to communicate with you. Okay, somebody wants to tell you something, but there's some fear surrounding that. I feel like this person is trying to figure out their emotions here, figure out where exactly they stand. Somebody may, okay, this is what I'm getting, Leo. I'm just not quite sure if you're dealing with a family issue or if you're dealing with a relationship issue, okay? Could even be, it's really whatever issue, okay? Somebody here is that you're connecting with is starting to realize the reoccurring issues in their life. And they're starting to, like, like they're starting to recognize a pattern. And so I feel like this person is trying to figure that out here, okay, before they come and speak to you about it. Now, some of you guys, there is some sort of family dynamic here, some sort of childhood wounds that may get brought up. Um, or maybe that's coming up for you at this time. Maybe you do try to bring it up to your family um, and it does cause a little bit of uh, emotional pain there, okay? Because I feel like if you bring this up to your family, they don't want to look at they don't want to look at the trauma they've caused you or the damage that has been done here. But the thing here, guys, I feel like whatever the issue is, it's going to get balanced out is what I'm getting. We have Justice, this is Libra energy. We also have Sagittarius here. Like I said, it's gonna get balanced out. Okay. For, yeah, Four of Wands, this is reconciliation. Okay, there's a, I see you reconciling with this person that you have been worried about. Okay. Making amends with someone. King of Wands, and then we have Justice. Side note, Leo, some of you guys, I'm getting like the black sheep of the family, possibly, or like, you know, the scapegoat, or some of you guys are the one that definitely calls out the bullish, okay? I feel like you're really not one to bite your tongue, and things you say, I'm getting like sometimes you <laughs> pointing out Sometimes you point things out and it may hurt those that you pointed out to, but I feel like in the end it's for the better, okay, is what I'm getting. Because like I feel like you have a point of view and you're not afraid to share that point of view. You've gone in a different direction than your family, that's for sure. And they see that and it's almost like you scare, you scare, you scare these people because you're different. You scare these people because you're taking the path less traveled or the path that has not been traveled in your family. Okay, is what I'm getting. Let's pull you some more cards real quick. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, one John two nine. 
Thank you so much. And Tarot Dreams with Anastasia. Babe, thank you so much for that super chat. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all. Let's get you an angel number. Give me an angel number for Leo. Angel number for Leo. Okay, let's see. 66. Remain positive at this time. It may be hard. Okay, but your angels are asking you to remain positive throughout this. Whatever is weighing heavily on your heart right now. It says your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desire. So you are manifesting, but there's some sort of lesson here on loving people unconditionally. Um, and you know, to love unconditionally does not mean you have to entertain these people. It doesn't mean you have to allow them in your life. Uh, you can of course love unconditionally from afar, but this is more so about accepting people for who they are, accepting things that you cannot change. And we can't change people. Yeah. Happiness. A lot of peace coming your way, Leo. For those of you that are feeling... For all of you Leos, I do see a lot of peace and happiness coming in. But I feel like this is message is especially for those of you that have been grieving a situation. Feeling some type of way about a, you know, a heartache or a breakup. Let's see. Good advice from a wise person. So be on the lookout. We have owl. You could be seeing an owl, okay? That's a confirmation, but I do see you interacting with someone. This person is wise. They're going to have some good advice for you. An exciting event. Wow. Recognition and reward for merit. So you're going to be really happy about this interaction. There's an interaction coming up for you very soon, Leo, that makes you really happy. I feel like there's a good conversation you have with this person, an exciting conversation that leaves you feeling happy in the end. Let's take a look at the singles. There will be timestamps after the live, so you can skip past any parts you're not interested in after the live. They're pinned to the top of the comment section. Okie doke. So for my single Leos, single Leos, thank you guys again for the super chats and the likes. I really appreciate y'all for that. Okay, Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. You can also watch this if you have North Node Leo. Let's see. Single Leos. Single Leos. Who's coming toward the single Leos? Five of Cups. I'm sorry, not the Five of Cups. The Five of... <laughs> I said that like I was so sure of myself. The Five of Pentacles is coming toward you. Let's see. Who is this? Why are they the Five of Pentacles? Why are they the Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles? Temperance. This person's healing. I feel like the person coming towards you, they are trying to focus on work right now to get something off their mind. I don't know why this is so important right now for you to hear about this person. It's telling me when it comes to the spiritual department, they are feeling depleted. This is someone who's spiritually bankrupt. And I do feel like with temperance coming out, they are trying to, you know, get in touch with their higher self. They could be going through some sort of loss right now that is sparking, like, it's divine intervention with the temperance. They've been feeling really lost. 
I feel like this person is stable, though, when it comes to their material world with the King of Pentacles. This is someone who they're business focused, disciplined. They're well accomplished, but I feel like they could be suffering some sort of loss that is sparking an awakening here or they're trying to heal. It feels like, you know, you this person requires some patience if you want to deal with them. Sagittarius is here. So, can you, can you tell me anything else about this person coming toward the singles? Page of Wands. Yeah, they're just in the process of discovering themselves. They're discovering a higher, a higher self here. They're focused on work. They could have specifically, you know, for some of you guys, I don't know why I'm getting like job loss for this person, but it's like that leads to something even better. They don't see that yet, but they're about to be amazed with how things work out for them. What else for single Leos? Four of Wands. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a relationship come towards you, okay? We have the Devil and the Empress. Capricorn, Taurus, Libra. This person is dealing with their shadow side. They're turn like this is someone like on the brink of reaching that higher self, higher knowledge, but it's like they have to face their shadow first in order to become that divine feminine or that divine masculine energy. They're facing their shadows. But the thing is they're choosing to do it. Okay, because I feel like this person is coming to this awakening that they want to be in a they want to be in a union and they know that they need to work some things out in order they're preparing themselves for a divine counterpart here, or they're preparing themselves for a life partner, so to speak. Right. Let's take a look at the new person. So those of you that are already aware of someone, Jimmy said, how are the egg issues in South Carolina? They're, my eggs are back. My eggs are back. In the, they're, they cost an arm and a leg, but they're back. Okay. Yeah, I've been getting my eggs. Um, the prices are ridiculous. Okay, new person, new person. But they got to survive too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not blaming the companies that raise prices, but I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> We're not going to get into that. All right. New person for Leo. New person for Leo. Who is this new person? It could be a Virgo. They're a hermit. They're non-social. <laughs> okay, they, they're they isolating themselves here. Or, you know, they could just be withdrawn from you right now. Take it how it resonates. This is a general reading. Three of Pentacles. This is like a popular loner. This person knows a lot of people, but they, they self-isolate. They, they stick to themselves. We have the Seven of Swords, the world. This person is plotting something. They're planning something. Being really strategic here behind the scenes. If you're wondering why uh, this new person has been acting withdrawn from you, they're planning something here. What are they planning? Ace of Wands. I think this person, you may be misunder you may be misunderstanding someone here because it's telling me you see them as withdrawn from you. 
maybe they were giving you attention and then kind of pulled back a little bit but i am seeing this person is is they're focused on their accomplishments or they're fo they're focused on a desired goal here right now because the ace of wands is a desired goal the seven of swords you know in this reading right here is telling me they're being strategic about their goals and their plans with the world card this person could be considering moving too whether you realize it or not but what it's just telling me is Whatever you're thinking is happening, I don't think it's happening the way that you perceive it to be. I think there's a lot going on here behind the scenes that you're not aware of. There's there's a lot of movement here. There's a lot of they could be far away from you by the way or just very distant. How does this new person see Leo right now? How do they how do they see you? What's their opinion of you? Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. They see you as driven. That you're. They see you as trying to pursue something, or you know, driven to success. The, the Knight of Swords is driven to success. The Knight of Cups. They can also see you as very charming, creative. They think you know exactly what you want, and you're gonna go get it, whatever that means. Okay for you. Let's see, we have the Will of Fortune here that wanted to fly out. Hmm. They see you as making some sort of change in your life. That you're making changes, you're in the process, you're in the pursuit of happiness, making changes. Okay. How do they feel? How do they feel about you? How do they feel about Leo? Ten of Pen they feel pretty good about you. They see they f they feel like you could you have a lot to bring to the table. They feel like you have a lot to offer. Okay, that's definitely you know someone feeling as if you you know can contribute to a relationship uh, in in building a foundation here. The Ten of Pentacles can also be like a final result, meaning like. They feel like you're the one, like you could be the one, but I don't think you see the situation that way. Cause you're just, you're kind of seeing them as like staying away from you or, you know, keeping a distance, you know, with the three of pentacles, I do think you feel as if there's more to learn about the situation. I feel like you want to, I don't think you really know this person that well, if this is going to resonate with you. I don't think you really know them that well. For some of you guys, the three of pentacles is like a place. It could be online for, you know, with the world here as well. That's my online card. But it could also be you go somewhere, a place where people like congregate and it's like when this person, when you see them, you may see them as like isolating themselves from everyone else, or that was like your last experience with this person. How do they feel about Leo? How does this new person feel about the Leo? They feel passionate about you guys. You turn this person on, like, You've definitely, like, they feel as if there has been, like, a fire started between the both of you. Let's see. What's their hidden truth? Okay, they feel happy when they're around you. There's a specific day that stands out to this person, Leo, that they think about a lot, an interaction that you two had at some point. And then we have, they see you as someone that they could be comfortable around, okay? You give off this authentic, authentic vibe, okay? There's something about you that is authentic, that really shines, they can see that. We have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Gemini, more fixed energy, and Virgo. Could be any sign, though. We're going to take a look at the current slash past person for you, Leo. 
So this category is someone that you have established some sort of history with. There's some sort of past between the both of you. Okay, so how does this past person, the current past person, how do they see Leo? How do they see you? Okay, split the deck. How do they see Leo? They see you as the two of pentacles. That you have multiple priorities. The full, the four of swords. This person, they see you as, okay, they see you as contemplating a new beginning, Leo. Four of Swords, the Fool. Okay, that you could be juggling a lot right now, or, you know, some of you guys, this person does see you as spread really thin, like you, um, you have a lot of, a lot going on right here, okay? I don't know why they think that, but that's what they think. They also see you as someone who is, that you're really, with the Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles, that you're really trying to think things through right now before, you know, you can make a decision because the Two of Pentacles is more to be learned before a decision can be made. They think you're thinking something through here, but they also see you as headed toward a new beginning. Aries, Gemini, Aquarius. How does this, uh, how does this current slash past person, how do they see, uh, I'm sorry, how do they feel about Leo? Universe, how do they feel about Leo? Eight of Swords. They feel like the connection is being restricted. Like something's keeping, there's a hold up here. The Eight of Swords can be like imprisonment, okay? Maybe someone's literally in prison. They don't have to be. Um, the Eight of Swords can also be that self-imposed prison, right? Like keeping yourself stuck somewhere because you haven't made a decision. They see you as someone who hasn't made a decision. Or maybe, maybe they, you know, of course you could see them that way and they know you see them that way, right? Take it how it resonates. Um, why do they feel the Eight of Swords? Why do they feel the Eight of Swords? They want to open the lines of communication. They have something to tell you. They just don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to say what it is that they need to say. Give me one more card for their feelings. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They're restless. Okay, they're restless. I, they don't know what to do. They don't. They don't know what to do. Page of Wands. More communication. They're starting to reach a point this month where they feel like they need to just say it. They need to just contact you or, you know, speak to you about something. And it's like, they're starting to realize that if they don't, that you may move in a new direction. What are their next actions toward Leo? What are their next actions toward Leo? What are their next actions? Hold them back. Four of Pentacles. They're trying to control the situation by holding back. Okay, they feel like that's the only ounce of control they have. Let's see. Will of Fortune. I want to tell you they will eventually come towards you and speak to you, but the thing is, it's it's an eventual. It's it's an eventual. Now I could give you a time frame of four to eight, four to eight, four to eight, four to eight days, four to eight weeks, possibly four to eight months for some of you. Um, 
but time is fluid, okay? This is a general reading, and everyone has free will. The Four of Pentacles, the Will of Fortune, Eight of Wands, they definitely plan on speaking to you. But their immediate next action is to hold back from you. But the Will of Fortune, Eight of Wands, there's going to be a turning point here. There will be some type of change where this person just all of a, si all of a sudden decides to just say something. Depending on your situation, four hours, okay, four hours could also be between four hours and four days. They feel a sexual tension between the both of you, Leo. Yeah, I am getting, for some of you guys, four hours. But I mean, that's so specific. I hate giving that time frame. They feel sexual tension between you guys, okay? We will be together again. Yeah, they're already planning on making their way toward you. They don't want to get their heart broken. Okay. They don't want to get their heart broken. Some of you guys are already going through some sort of emotional pain right, th right now. And that's why they're holding back from you is because they're trying to deal with that. But again, they know if they don't act soon that they're going to lose you. Or they're going to lose their opportunity, their chance. Again, remember you all are in different situations, so just take what resonates. Um, we have strong Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Someone can have those signs in their chart. We're going to do all signs their sign. This is if you're dealing with this sign. And then I will, I'll do Virgo. Uh, Virgo's up next. I will do Virgo. I still have some energy left for Virgo. Okay, let's do all signs, their sign for Leo. Thank you guys for liking the video. All signs, their sign. All signs, their sign. If you're dealing with an Aries, the Aries is waiting for the perfect opportunity to connect with you. They're waiting for an op Oh my goodness. <laughs> so they're just waiting for an opportunity. They're going to take the opportunity when they see it. If you're dealing with a Taurus, okay, the Taurus is juggling right now. What are they juggling? Hermit. If you, those of you that were ghosted by a Taurus, it's because there's somebody else here. Thank you so much for the super chat, Miss V. I appreciate that. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Emperor. The Gemini is kind of cold right now. Let's see, what is this? Knight of Wands. The Gemini's fickle, okay, and cold. The Gemini doesn't know what the Gemini wants. If you're dealing with a Cancer, uh, they think you guys are a perfect match. Mutual feelings there between you and the Cancer. If you're dealing with a Leo, they want your attention. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're coming toward you. Okay, right right at you. If you're dealing with a Libra, Ten of Cups, they want a relationship with you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're bitter. Why are they bitter? Four of Cups. They feel like you were ignoring them, so they're ignoring you. <laughs> okay. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, King of Pentacles, they respect you. Let's see. The sun. The Sagittarius has a lot of respect for you. For your accomplishments or for just you in general. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, games. 
judgment. Uh, you know, your guides are asking you to take a really hard look at the Capricorn and at the situation as a whole. Okay? And choose wisely. But I do see the Capricorn coming back to play more games. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Eight of Swords, they're in their head. There's something restricting the connection that they're in their head about. They wish they could remove the block. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're in mental conflict over this the rest of the month. They, they're trying to figure out what to do. All right, everyone. Those are your messages, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.